Right here in a lab in Evanston, Morning Insider Lauren Victory shows us how it's driving advances in robotics. We've seen robot gymnasts and robot cooks. Robots as dogs and butlers too. Thank you. The difference with Mike Rubenstein's robots, they can be anything you want. Whether the letter N or the letter U. The Northwestern University computer scientist and mechanical engineering professor believes he cracked a code. You draw a picture in the computer and give it to all the robots and they automatically know how to form that shape in a guaranteed way that doesn't have any collisions. He and a student helper built each of these tiny purple machines from scratch. All 100 of them. They fit in one corner of the NU Center for Robotics and Biosystems. Their small size has another big purpose. It's creating a robot, but instead of making it with one piece, you're making it with lots of cells of robots. What would a multicellular robot do? Uh, it can change its shape automatically. So if you need to change the task, maybe there's a shape that helps you solve that task better. Rubenstein likens his cells of robots to swarms of bees. <laughs> big part of his research, avoiding something called deadlock. Oh, they had to make room for that one robot. How do swarms reconfigure without slowing down? The robots make their own decisions and use sensors to communicate under Rubenstein's algorithm. What my robots do is if you're trying to go down the hallway one way and I'm trying to go the other way, we actually just swap goals and we turn around and go backwards. Which could mean warehouse work gets even faster than this or traffic jams become a thing of the past. If there's ever lots of self-driving cars on the road, that's gonna be swarms of robots interacting with each other. You need to understand how to do that safely in a way that doesn't have collisions or deadlock. His next step, figuring out how to scale this experiment in an inexpensive way for the inevitable day. When hundreds, thousands, or millions of robot cells are swarming around us. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Some of Rubenstein's shapes take only a minute to form. Previous swarms took up to a full hour. I love that story. Whatever it takes to make